Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, we're looking at the diagram below where AEFB is parallel to CGD and GE and GF are also drawn. Okay. So what we know is that the measure of EFG is 32 degrees. So I know in here it's 32 degrees. I know the measure of AEG is 137. So I know this angle over here is 137 degrees. And what we're trying to figure out is the measure of EGF. Okay. There. So the first thing that we're going to figure out is the measure of GEF, this angle here. Okay. And the measure of GEF is going to be 43 degrees. The way that we know that right, is AEG and GEF are supplementary angles. And what we know about supplementary angles is that their measures um, add up to 180 degrees. Okay. So AEG, which is 137, plus the measure of GEF has to be 180 degrees. Right. And which if I subtract 137, I find that the measure of GEF is 43 degrees. So we can fill that in up here. Okay. The second thing we know is the measures of my triangle are also 180 degrees. So the measure right, of GEF, which we just found, plus the measure of EFG, also in my triangle, plus the measure of EGF is 180 degrees, because again, it's a triangle. So GEF, we just found, is 43 degrees. EFG, right, that was given, that's 32 degrees. Plus the measure of EGF has to be 180 degrees. Okay. So this, when I add those together, right, I get 75 degrees. Plus the measure of EGF, that's 180 degrees. And then when I subtract 75 degrees from both sides, I get the measure of EGF to be 105 degrees. So the answer to this question would be number four.